We begin tonight with what lawmen thought was a drug smuggling case, but instead turned into an organized retail theft ring. The DA's criminal interdiction unit had gotten a tip that some drug runners from North Carolina were coming here to pick up a load of dope. An officer spotted them, but instead of picking up drugs, it appeared that they were going on a shopping spree all over town. That's right. Our Michael Gibson leads us off tonight in his report. Back up toward my voice right now. Lawman with the district attorney's criminal interdiction unit had three people at gunpoint at Williams and Staples on Tuesday afternoon. Investigators had gotten a tip from the Victoria County Sheriff's Department that the suspects were in town to pick up a load of drugs to take back to North Carolina. Instead, the group is believed to have been passing fake $100 bills everywhere. We know the money um, was printed and uh, given to one of the folks in the car in, in North Carolina. Uh, they initially had a stack of $100 bills. Um, so they traveled from North Carolina all the way to South Texas. And along the road, they were doing this exact same thing to different businesses in different cities. Investigators say those counterfeiters hit a number of businesses around town, including some of those here at La Palmera Mall. Those included places like Ulta and Crocs. But here at the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, their sweet swindle did not pay off. The store simply didn't have change for their $100 bill. It's crazy. It makes it harder for everybody else because that's where the prices go up and people are complaining and everything, but that's the reason why. The suspects hit the Pet Supplies Plus in Moore Plaza. They bought a bag of dog food with their fake bill and got $76 in real U.S. currency. The store lost the money and the product. I think they should be charged and they should go to prison. Um, for the rest of us, basically us, us hard workers who have to come to work 8, 10 hours a day and then etch out a living, it's, it, it's not right. Investigators with the DA's criminal interdiction unit are hoping other business owners out there are going to take a long, hard look at these suspect photos. That's because they believe there are more victims out there. Right now, these suspects are in jail on a number of state charges, including organized criminal activity. Michael Gibson, 3 News. All right, thank you, Michael, for that.